All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem, Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalawam to you, Sincere Akiyam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalawam to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write desire to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, the inspiration for this lesson is um, this article that popped up in my news feed. <laughs> I saw it and um, a couple scriptures came to mind. I said, I got to do a lesson on it. I don't want to write desire. It'll come together and it'll be edifying and, and exhorting. Again, again, like I always say, Yapa, Yapa, beautiful times that we're living in. Beautiful times for the hopeful elect. Horrific times for the rest of you. You two thirds of Yasharala that refuse to repent. And you heathens. All right. Chiefly Esau, Edom, and the rest of you heathens that are confederate with him. All right. This is your end. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, um,. Without further ado, let's get it. Um, this is off of uh, Fox News. And um, it's just a little snippet. I'm not going to play the video. But it says, uh, off of Fox News, it says, U.S. dollar being attacked from all sides. And that's a, a comment that was made by Jim Rickards. Again, the U.S. dollar being attacked from all sides. Jim Rickards. Currency Wars author Jim Rickards reacts to China and Malaysia reviving a proposal to reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar as other countries look beyond the dollar for a new global currency. So America's losing its hegemony, all right? You don't know what that word hegemony it means? Look it up, all right? You know, we're in beautiful times. And um, what came to mind was a statement that uh, Elder Apostle Gabar always mentions, which is based upon um, something Michael Rivero, actually he did, a, I, I was looking for it, I couldn't find it, so I could watch it for myself, um, I guess it's a movie, a documentary, it's called All Wars Are Bankers Wars, All Wars Are Bankers Wars, and matter of fact, if you watch, if you're familiar with the series Game of Thrones, towards the, the like the last season, that's what, that's what came out, alright, the bankers, the, the, the bank said, uh, they they don't they fund both sides of the war basically that's what that's what was uh, said in Game of Thrones all right, but Elder Apostle Gabar always mentions this he says all wars are bankers wars and that's uh from Michael Rivero, it says uh, Michael Rivero shows how banking practices have led to catastrophic incidents throughout history. Again, Michael Rivera shows how banking practices have led to catastrophic incidents throughout history. Because that, you know, um, that's how you wage war. You know, that's how the beast wages war. First, because we remember the beast is the second leg of the Roman Empire, which we're living in the rebirth of the Roman Empire. That deadly wound that was healed, right? Um, and how the, well, the beast is comprised of what? NATO and the EU. NATO is the military arm of the beast. And the EU is the monetary ar arm of the beast. That's how they go to war. And America is that whore that rides the beast. All right? And that's how they go to war. Through financing. First, they put uh, sanctions on you. Tariffs. Okay? They tell you who, who you can and can't do trade deals with. They hurt your pockets. Okay? You know, they attack your finances. And if that doesn't work, then they go to actual physical war through NATO, all right? And ultimately, we know the chief house of Edom is behind it. Am Amalek, the Amalekites, the small hat, big nose people. They're the ones that's really collapsing this economy because it's all by design. As Elder Apostle uh, Ramlab like to say, always mentions the Hegelian dialect, order out of chaos, pressure from above, pressure from below. They're bringing in the great squeeze the, so that they can usher in the great reset all right they're causing a lot of this famine um the sedition 
the layoffs, you know, they're orchestrating all this chaos so that they can swoop, swoop in as the knight in shining armor with the solution, which is going to be that Karagma per Revelation 13 and 16, that digital U, that RFID C hip. Okay, all roads are leading to the Karagma. All right, and that third's woe is it's coming quickly. All right, so again, all wars are bankers' wars. Michael Rivera shows how banking practices have led to catastrophic incidents throughout history. I wish I could find that. If anybody knows or has a link or where it's at, I'll even pay to watch it. Just, you know, because I couldn't find it, you know. So again, and that this is inspired by this uh, article that I saw from Fox News again. U.S. dollar being attacked from all sides. Jim Rickards. Currency Wars author Jim Rickards reacts to China and Malaysia reviving a proposal to reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar as other countries look beyond the dollar for a new global currency. What you really see happening is this new world order is about to be ushered in, this digital system. And um, I thought I had another article. I guess that's it. I go into the scripture, Salakia. What's really happening is, um, uh, oh, yeah, I did have another article, Salakia, the Wadi Ha'abachim Yawshai, Brakatha Ha'abachim Yawshai. Um, what's really happening is this new world order, this digital system is being rolled out right in front of your eyes. And all these nations, all these heathens are confederate. Okay, don't get it twisted. Moab, um, Gog, and May Gog and Magog, Russia, you know, Elam. Ishmael, they're all confederate. They're all on one accord. But what, what you see happening is there's a balance, like like how Esau likes to say, there's a balance of power. You have the East versus the West. And and they're they're all they're all clicking up, you know, and uh they're they're looking to see who's gonna who's gonna be the head of this new new world order. Okay? You see? They're fighting for who they already know this current fiat system, this fiscal Fiscal money, fiat system. This way, this way of buying with, with paper money, is being done away with. A new, a new age, a new way of buying and selling is going to be ushered in, which is going to be digital, where where they'll have complete control. All right, through the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, they'll be able to track everything, like Aaron Russo said. You don't want to obey to just lock your C hip off. You know, complete control. You know, he wants to be as the most high, you know, and like I said, they're they're fighting to see who's going to be the head of this new system, <laughs> you know, you know. So um, let me read this article and then I hit a hit, hit a couple of scriptures and I close out. I found this article that says the downfall of the U.S. dollar, the Eastern Alliance, because remember, it's a war between the East and the West. You see. So it says. The world is dumping the U.S. dollar. This revolt against the dollar as the international currency is in full force. <laughs> Again, what is that article that I, that, that I read? The U.S. Jim Rickards made the statement, the U.S. dollar being attacked from all sides. All right. Matter of fact, that made me think of one of my favorite scriptures. You know, I, I, use, I usually bring this out in regards to um, all these terrorist attacks. Which you see happening, which there was just another terrorist attack. I forget where it was exactly, but um, it was like a, somebody went and shot up a bank. You know, I think it was a, 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 a disgruntled employee. They're trying to say he was mentally unstable. But this scripture, um, I usually bring it out in regards to that, all these terrorist attacks. But, hey, spiritually, <laughs> through the spirit, I was thinking about how that's what's happening. You know, you know. America's losing its hegemony. It's being attacked on all sides financially, and and, and again that that the you know this lead financial wars lead to real wars, you see, and ultimately it's it's all bankers' wars, you see, you know, and we know who controls the bank, the Federal Reserve, the IMF, you know, you know the International Monetary Fund. We know who controls the you know who controls that Amalek, Amalek controls it. Matter of fact. Where is it? Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Jehovah that he have taken against Edom. Because that's really a Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. 
who's ruling Esau Edom, the so-called white man, all right? And all these, per Psalms, I believe it's 83, all these nations are confederate with him. You know, they all gave consent unto him for a moment, for a time, okay? You see? So it says, therefore, here, the, and, and the chief house of Edom is Amalek. They're controlling the finances, okay? But remember, again, what did Michael Rivera say? All wars are bankers' wars. Michael Rivera shows how banking practices has le have led to catastrophic incidents throughout history. You see? Finances. It's all about the money. I forget who said that. Uh, the elders always mention it. Give me control of a nation's money. You know, I, I, I care not what gods they serve. Just give me control of the nation's money. I forgot who said that. I think it was Meyer M. Rothschild. I forget who, who said that. It's a locky. I, I, I slip in my mind. But, you know, all wars are bankers' wars. So it says again, um, Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Jehovah that he have taken against Edom. Matter of fact, uh, I was going to bring out the script. I guess I'll close with the article, you know. Um, I'm, or we're, I just follow in the spirit. But, hey, uh, that's how we know this place is through. Matthew 12 and 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall how shall then his kingdom stand? Because Satan, Esau, Edom, the devil, is divided against himself. All right? You see? You see? He's in the power seat. The earth is given into his hands, but he, he's divided against himself. Prime example, Gog and Magog, Russia versus Babylon the Great. Okay? You see? The BRICS versus the, 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 the BRICS nations versus NATO. Okay? You see? He's divided about who's going to rule this new world order. You see? Who's going to, who's going to you know, be the head of it? You see? Mark 3 and 26. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And that's what it is. This place is through. This place is through. Um. So it says, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Jehovah that he have taken against Edom and his purposes that he have proposed against the inhabitants of Timon, of Timon. Surely the least of the flock, Amalek, right? Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with him because ultimately the land of Canaan, the land of Palestine, you know, the land of Israel, all right, it's going to be completely nuked by thermonuclear destruction and also Babylon the Great, you know? You know, Edom figures prominently as the scene of in, uh, Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgment. All right. Jeremiah 15 and 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord Jehovah that he have taken against Babylon and his purposes that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. All America's uh, in, the, in the scriptures spiritually is synonymous with Babylon, uh, Sodom and Sodom and Egypt. Nineveh, the land of Chaldea, the land of Uz, you see, Basra, all these uh, ancient cities are synonymous for America, okay? So it says, therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord Jehovah that he have taken against Babylon and his purposes that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Again, America is going to be completely destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. The third woe is coming quickly, all right? And why, what, what's drawing them out? Money, you know? <laughs> so going back to Job 18 and 11, I don't want to write this making sense and it's coming together. Job 18, matter of fact, let me start at uh, 8. Job 18 and 8, for he is cast. Who is he? Esau, Edom. The Satan, the devil. We know there's an actual spiritual demon, Satan, but there's also on the earth his physical counterpart, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, and he has a covering cast because he's a fugitive and a vag vagabond fleeing from justice. He has a covering cast on the earth. He's hiding himself. Hey, that's what it said, that they had to come and fall away first and that man of sin be revealed. Who's the man of sin? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked per Malachi 1 and 4. Uh, real quick, uh, we know it. Uh, Revelation 21, Salakia.
Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And we know the bottomless pit is Europe. Okay, the bottomless pit is Europe. It's a it's a barren land. It's, it's, it's a land that uh, uh, lacks resources, you know, like a spices and, you know, that's why um, during the trans trans transatlantic slave trade, they, they that's what they were doing. They were getting all these different spices and sugar from from um, from the we're in the east from the Americas, you know, the sugar cane and the spices and the rum and all this stuff, you know. And, and they shipped it over to to Europe because it was it's a bottomless pit. It, it lacks resources. OK, you see, it says and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and the Satan and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. And set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be leased. He must be loosed a little season. And we're in that little season, right? He was bound during the dark ages, you know, when people of color were ruling, you know, Jake was ruling all in Russia. OK, you know, you got the Russian icons. We ruled all throughout um, the UK. We ruled in England. Ireland, Scotland, we ruled uh, all throughout Spain, okay, Jake was ruling, you know, you know, prime example, like uh, like we always mention is the Moors, all right, the last stronghold of the of the Moors uh, was Granada, okay, Jake was ruling, Esau was, 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 um, what it says, w was bound, okay, he was on the bottom, okay, you see, but then, after, after what what happened? We got taken down. What took Jake down? Mainly the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai did through a plague, through the bubonic plague. Okay, okay. The, the the bubonic plague is what really crippled Jake during the Dark Ages, and Esau rose to power. Okay, he came. He he, he called it uh, the Renaissance, a period of enlightenment, the rebirth. <laughs> okay, that's when he was loosed for short for what did it say. Uh, shut up. Uh, he should uh, and after he must be loose he was loose for that little season we're in that little season but we're coming to the end of it okay but I brought this out to show you that 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 dragon that old serpent the devil Satan is all synonymous for Esau Edom the wicked per Malachi 1 and 4 okay and doesn't matter if you're calling yourself French Portuguese Spaniards Italians okay Russians, um, you know, um, Ukrainians, <laughs> you're all Edomites, okay? You're all Edomites, okay? You see, and you are the wicked. This is, uh, you are the people of the Lord's curse. Revelation 12 and, uh, I started at uh, 7. And there was war in heaven. This is the third's woe. It's coming quickly, all right? Esau, Edom, right? And all these and all these nations that are confederate with him are gonna are gonna first they're gonna be fighting one another in the thirds woe. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gathering them as we speak. He's mustering the host of the battle. He's gathering these nations for the thirds woe. Okay? Fanning the flames. Okay? He's gathering them in the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Over there in the in the Levant, the Fertile Crescent. Okay, he's got you know, over there, he's gathering these armies for the thirds woe. Okay? You know, that's why you see China running all these war drills. You see this proxy war between Russia and America, Babylon the Great and Russia and NATO. You see, you see all these nations click clicking up. They're choosing sides, you know, you know, but ultimately <laughs> all of America, Babylon, the Great's allies are going to turn upon her and hate the whore and burn her with fire as it is written. All right. So again, and there was war in heaven. Michael. And his angels fought against the dragon. Really, the dragon is Esau Edom. All right? And all, and all these nations that are confederate with him. Okay? And that, that's the, they're going to, again, they're going to be fighting in the Thirds Wall in the, in the Middle East, in the Valley of Yahweh Shapat. They're going to be fighting one another. Right? But they're going to stop everything when our Lord returns with the thousands of heavens, with all the angels and the chariots, what you call UFOs. 
They're going to stop fighting each other and try to fight against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the angels. All right? And they're going to lose. <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going <laughs> to uh, make um, quick riddance of them. You know? It's only going to take one hour for so great riches to come to naught. Right? So it says, and there was war. That's what that war in heaven is. Okay? And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and the angels fighting against Esau, Edom, and these heathens. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was the neither was their place in heaven found any more in neither was their place found any more in heaven. This is the main point. And that and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. Esau Edom. After that thousand years, that's what he did. He went he went forth and deceived the world. You know, the ultimate deception is going to be when you guys take that karagma. You know, <laughs> he's going to deceive you, trick you into taking it. You know, he was cast out into the earth. It says, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And that's the point. Okay. And that day is quickly approaching. So let's go back to, uh, what was I at? Job 18 and 11. Job 18 and 8. For he is cast into a net by his own feet. He, he, he's in a trick bag. You know? How about you and Shai set him up? He's in a quagmire. Okay? This this <laughs> this infrastructure that he's laying out. You know? This this system that he's built. You know? It, it's, it's, it's leading to his undoing. And he can't go back. He can only go forward. Okay, all the wickedness that he's done in the earth, you know, uh, riches gotten by deceit. The kingdom is about to be translated from one people to another. Okay, this whole fiat system, this funny money, it's collapsing. The debt, or the, that heavy debt, I bought you. The everything, is, it, everything is leading to his undoing. All right, all his lies is, is catching up to him, for he is cast into a net by his own feet. It was his own doing. He did it. And he walketh upon a snare. The jinn shall take him by the the jinn is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the raw a that's foreshadowing. Remember when when Esau was first born, Jacob held his heel. All right, it was foreshadowing. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. Because Yahweh Shai is that thief. He's coming as a thief in the night to upset Esau Edom. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and the trap for him in the way. It's the main point. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. I'll come back to this. I guess I'll close out. With, well, I, well, I got another one too, but we'll see. So let's go back to um, Salakia. Salakia. Let's go back to this. So it says, The downfall of the U.S. dollar, the Eastern Alliance. The world is dumping the U.S. dollar. This revolt against the dollar as the international currency is in full force. The war between Russia and Ukraine and the involvement of the U.S. and NATO alliance along with sanctions on Russia have more nations looking for alternatives to the U.S. dollar. It's being attacked on every side. Terrorists. <laughs> it's going to drive them to the feet. Okay. They're going to have no choice. It's all by design, ultimately by the wicked elite, and ultimately by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But that's why we know this place is through. The third row is coming quickly. The war between Russia and Ukraine and the, and the involvement of the U.S. and NATO alliance, along with sanctions on Russia, have more nations looking for alternatives to the U.S. dollar. The China Yuan has become the clear choice to replace the dollar as the international currency. And ultimately, the, the Yuan is going to collapse also. You know, the euro, all these paper monies are going to collapse because they're ultimately ushering in a digital system. It says China and Brazil have agreed to leave the dollar and will use their own currencies for trade between each other. The U.S. can't afford the dollar. The U.S. can't afford the dollar not to be the international currency. Again, America's losing its hegemony. The dollar's dominance gives the U.S. advantage in commerce and trade. China is Brazil's biggest trading partner with over the brick. That's what brick, the part of the bricks. China is Brazil's big, biggest 
trading partner with over $150 billion. China's mission is to have the yuan become the international currency for trade. The alliance of the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, have secured bilateral pacts with 41 countries. This agreement worth $500 billion. The world has lost patience with the U.S. How is the hammer of earth broken, brought asunder? The, the world has lost patience with the U.S. Because America was the big bully on the block. And they're tired of it. <laughs> the question is what led the U.S. dollar to become the international currency of the world? In 1944, after World War II, the Allied nations met in Britain Woods to adopt the plan to avoid financial turmoil after the war. Because ultimately, it's all, all wars and bankers' wars. You see? This led to the IMF, Amalek, International Monetary Fund. <laughs> presently, about $1 trillion notes, presently about $1 trillion notes in circulation outside of the U.S. alone with 40% of the world debt is issued in U.S. dollars and 60% and 90% of global reserves are in foreign exchange chain foreign exchange trade taking all of this into consideration the task of, re of replacing the dollar will be a challenging situation it ain't gonna be difficult it's not difficult but that's the point that's the point all right so they be the dollar is being attacked on every side as you can see all right the downfall of the dollar this place is through this place is through so again uh going back to job uh 18 and 11, terrorists shall make him afraid on every side. All these nations dumping, dumping the dollar, all right? <laughs> you know, what is it going to cause? It's going to cause uh, the, the, the dollar to be devalued, all right? It's going to cause hyperinflation, all right? You see, terrorists shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his, head, at his side. The least of the flock shall draw them out. <laughs> it's always going to lead to war you know it shall devour the strength of his skin even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors because ultimately <laughs> that's the trap Yahweh is on his way to destroy this place to take this devil down you see I'm going to close out here straight to the point I'm going to close out here Obadiah 1 and 7, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. For what? For war. It says, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee, that you was in the trick bag, and have prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread took your all your benefits, you know, your handouts, you know, your, your military, uh, your artillery, your military artillery. They, you know, they uh, took the dollars and, you know, they were, they were, um, conforming and you know just just bowing down and being obedient you thought you thought everything everything was on your side but they were setting you up they were all plotting behind your back you know <laughs> and and, and america is ripe for the picking they're, they're, they salivate these nations are salivating you see you see all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is a deadly wound. There is no understanding in him. All right? So that's the point. Beautiful, beautiful times that we're living in. Your pa, your pa times, man. This place is through. Our redemption is nigh. Shalom. Wa abad babo. Kwam yasharallah.